Let's look at another example of using the chain rule. And in this example, if y equals 1 plus 1 over x all cubed, this time we want to find y double prime, or the second derivative. All right, so let's see if we can go through this. Um, first, I'm going to rewrite it. y equals 1 plus x to the negative 1 cubed. Okay, so we do have a composite function. We have this 1 plus x to the negative 1 inside the cube. So let's get the first derivative. So y prime is going to be, so bring out the 3, 1 plus x to the negative 1, and that becomes 2. And then we need the derivative of the thing inside. Well, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of x to the negative 1 is a negative x to the negative 2. Now, if the question just asks us to find the first derivative, we would, you know, rewrite this, clean it up. However, we need the second derivative. And notice that for this second derivative, we now have a product rule. Okay, now with this product rule, you have to decide if the 3 stays with one of the functions or you just kind of keep it out with big parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and keep it outside with some big parentheses and multiply it later. So we have the first, which is 1 plus x to the negative 1 squared times the derivative of the second, which is well, negative times the negative 2 is 2x to the negative 3, plus the second, which is a negative x to the negative 2, times the derivative of the first. And here we have a chain rule. So it's going to be 2 times, whoops, 1 plus x to the negative 1, and then we subtract 1, so it's to the first power, times the derivative of the thing inside, which is a negative x to the negative 2. Okay. Alright, so here's our second derivative, and now all we need to do is just rewrite this. So we get y double prime equals 3 times, let's see what we have in here. We have 1 plus 1 over x squared times 2 over x cubed. And then over here, we're going to add on. Now let's see here. We have a negative and a negative makes it a positive. And then this is going to be 2 over x to the fourth because the x to the negative 2 times x to the negative 2 is x to the negative 4. And then this is going to be times 1 plus 1 over x. And we can factor out a 2. We can factor out an x cubed. And we can factor out a 1 plus 1 over x. So let's do that. y double prime is going to equal. So we're going to have 3. And so let's see, we have 2 over x cubed times 1 plus 1 over x. And so let's see, we have 1 plus 1 over x left. And then over here we have a plus 1 over x. So I think we're going to end up with y double prime equals 6 over x cubed times 1 plus 1 over x, times 1 plus 2 over x. All right, well, anyways, there's our second derivative cleaned up a little bit. But here's a good example of you start with a function and you need to find the second derivative. And so we did find the first derivative. And then notice we didn't simplify at this point. We went ahead and just went straight to the second derivative and then did our simplification process.